Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Brother Kiki, and today I'll be telling you a story titled Building the Kaaba. Lifetimes ago, when the Prophet Ibrahim salam, left his wife and son in the desert of Arabia, the spring of Zamzam burst out to save the life of the little Ismail alayhi salam. Before that, this part of the desert had been dry and empty. A scorching sun would beat down on the sparkling sand. A cloudless sky meant little rain touched this part of the land. But when the spring of Zamzam burst through the desert earth, people started surrounding it. Soon enough, tribes settled there and made homes in the dusty valleys. This was how the city of Mecca was built. Years and years later, Allah commanded the Prophet Ibrahim salam to build the Kaaba. It was to be the house of God. Soon, the Prophet and his son Ismail climbed the steep hills in search of heavy stones. Once they collected them, they placed them on the sand and started to build the Kaaba. In time, the walls were made. It soon became the simplest yet most beautiful of all places. While they were building, both father and son thanked Allah. Oh Allah, please accept this from us, they said. Oh Allah, this is all for you. Every so often, they changed their prayer. Oh Allah, they said. Oh Allah, please make us good people. Please don't let us forget you. Please make our people good too. Make them love you. Make them bow to you. Oh Allah, look out for us and never leave us. They pray. The most special of their prayers was the one they hoped would soon be answered. Oh Allah, they'd say, please let a great prophet be born in our family. Oh Allah, please let this be so. And Allah listened to their prayers. Years and years and years later, a great prophet was born in the desert sands of Arabia. He was the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and through him, Islam spread across the land. And because of this, we now know that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is his messenger. When Ibrahim said, My Lord, make this city a city of peace and provide its inhabitants with fruits such of them as believe in Allah and the last day. Surah Al-Baqarah, verse number 126. That was the end of the story. What do you guys think? What have you learned from the story? Let us know in the comments below. And stay tuned for more stories from us. Assalamualaikum.